How's it? We are going to use one of my favorite effects in After Effects, and that's the uh, pin tool. Uh, what we're going to do is I got uh, an image of Jeremy here. Um, you can do this in image. You can do a, a, a illustrator um, layer. You can also even do a shape. Um, so right now we're going to start just with uh, Jeremy though. So what I'm going to do is use the pin tool right here. And I'm going to uh, go on Jeremy and we're going to pin him. So basically when you use the pin tool, you're going to pin it where the uh, anchor points are going to be uh, for him. So I'm going to go to a layer called Jeremy. And I'm going to pin right about his forehead. So I want to make sure that that point kind of stays there. Okay. Now, if I just hit one pin point, and if I hold down the command key, you'll see a stopwatch that will appear um, right here if you hover over that point. And then as you hold down the command key, if you click on that point, it'll actually be recording. You see on the bottom, my time frame is going out and I can actually move to where I want Jeremy to go. Okay, so as you can see, it kind of uh, copied those motions that I was uh, showing you, and if you replay it, uh, it plays along as it is. Now if I want to go faster, I could uh, move him faster or go to my um, pinup tools here. If you see here, go to Jer the Jeremy layer, you'll see a puppet, and you'll see the mesh one, and you'll see all those keyframes that it made right here. So if you want to uh, make something um, smaller or faster, you could just redo it um, afterwards. So uh, you can also do um, other ways with the pen tool, not just moving him uh, in terms of position, but I can do other anchor points. So if I do one anchor point on his head and one on his foot, and then I do the same thing, command, you see the stopwatch, and now I'm going to hit the bottom anchor point for the pin tool, and now he's kind of like wobbling like a clock. Okay, so now if I play it, notice that he goes back and forth, back and forth, um, like so. Okay, so that's another way. Now, if I keep adding anchor points here, what it's doing is it's pinning down those points so that if I hold on the command, can do the same thing, you know, to this. Notice that those other points are keeping him still uh, right like that. So now notice he's staying right like that. I'm, he's pinned down. Okay. So uh, if you ever want to move those pin points, you, you can actually um, move those across and then I can hit command and now I can, he can be doing a jig like that. So, um, so those are ways that you can use it. Um, to use it on um, uh, an effect such as the uh, car here, um, what I can do is just go to this white car and do the same thing, you know, put some effects on it, hit command key, and then maybe I just want it, like he's crashing into something. So now if you look at it, the car kind of crashes into it, okay? And you can do the same thing like if you create a shape, okay? So I just create a shape here um, with the star tool the shape layers and you can do the same thing create a pin um, tool to have anchor points you know and do the same thing so have fun with the pin tool it's pretty fun uh, don't go too crazy yeah